Minute with the Monk, I want to take this segment of Minute with the Monk to speak about all of the pandemics that we're going through. The coronavirus, racism and violence. Racism and violence, those pandemics have come up and have existed with us for many, many years, almost 2,000 to be exact. So I want to speak to you about it. You know, as the leader of the school, I take my role very seriously as the spiritual leader of the school. Yes, I'm the principal, but I'm the spiritual leader of the school, and I take that role very seriously. And as a leader, I have to look to leaders to be my role models. So the first one I want to talk to you about is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to be the way, the truth, and the life. He taught us how to not only read the gospel, but live the gospel. Jesus sat with the marginalized, sat with the poor, sat with the oppressed, spoke up for the poor, the oppressed, people who were not being treated correctly. Jesus did that. So I have to use that example as I lead this school. The second role model for me is my own founder of the order I belong to, St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis hugged the leper, the most outcast, the most scorned, the most marginalized person of that day and time. And St. Francis said, when he hugged the leper, when he hugged the leper, his life changed. My third role model would be one, probably my favorite saint, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, better known as Mother Seton, who saw a need in New York, in Maryland, for Catholic education. She started the first Catholic school system to teach those who were oppressed, those who were poor, those who were abandoned, those who were orphaned, who were immigrants, not just to teach them the academic subjects, but to teach them the faith and Catholic social action. And last but not least, my mom and dad are my role models. They taught me how to love, respect, and honor all people and to treat them the way I would want to be treated. And when I didn't, I was corrected and taught to do it correctly. You know, here at St. Anthony's, I'm so pleased and proud at some of the steps that we have started to take again. Coach Minucci, our athletic director, and our head varsity football coach recently brought together the football team to speak about what's going on, to speak about ways we can individually make things better. It was a great meeting. The students texted and said, we always loved Coach Minucci, but our respect and love for him has soared because of what he did. He took a step. Mr. Vesaliadis and Mr. Copland, working with the equity team, have taken steps and continue to take steps to learn how to do things better. Tonight, I've asked about 25 teachers, including myself and all the administrators, to watch a webinar called A Time Like This, for times like this. It's being given by black educators, by principals of Catholic schools all throughout the country, black educators who understand the problem and want to give us guidelines and a suggestions. There's a question and answer period. I'm sure it will be great knowledge for us. And this is the first of many steps. You know, we have to sit and talk to people, not about people. When we speak to people, that's the way to work. The preposition to is the great preposition. The preposition about doesn't help us. So together, let us all, together, let us all join together. I want to thank those people who have reached out to me and sent me emails or called me. I appreciate that. We're all working on this together because together we can be better to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ here at St. Anthony's High School. 
And remember, brother loves you.